Thanksgiving is right around the corner, and a laceration to the hand is one of the top five injuries sustained on Thanksgiving. These cuts can lead to infections or injuries of the nerves and tendons, so I wanted to go over some hand safety techniques while carving your turkey. So for demonstration purposes, I'm using a rotisserie chicken instead of a turkey. So first you wanna make sure that the surface that you are cutting on is completely dry so that the turkey does not slide while you're cutting, which can cause an injury to the finger or the hand. If you can, you want to use an electric knife for carving. If you don't have an electric knife, you want to make sure that the knife that you are using has been sharpened so that you don't have to apply a great amount of force while you're carving. A dull knife is more likely to cause slips while cutting and can still be sharp enough to cause an injury. You also want to make sure that the handle of the knife is completely dry so that your hand doesn't slip onto the blade and result in a cut. Kitchen shears can be used to cut the bones and the joints of the turkey. Oftentimes, people tend to hold one hand underneath the blade while cutting to catch the meat, which can easily result in a cut to the finger or hand. Instead, you want to place one hand on the opposite side of where you're cutting to stabilize the turkey, and you want to allow the meat to either fall directly onto the cutting board or place a tray or plate underneath to catch the meat. Keep in mind while you're cutting that you're angling the blade away from where your opposite hand is positioned. These tips are simple but can get easily overlooked in all the holiday excitement. Thanks for watching and have a safe and happy Thanksgiving.